Hello everyone, this is Zephyr here, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World Iceborne on PC. It has been a long time since I've recorded because I have been working on getting the materials we needed to create Vulcana's armor, like I said that I was going to do. And it took a long, long time, but I finally finished that. So, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and craft a whole bunch of stuff, hopefully, starting with Vulcana's armor. Uh, and of course we're going beta, because the Velcana beta is better than the alpha. We've seen the cutscene, so I'm not going to bore you with making you watch that every time. And we're going to wear the full set, because uh, we need to wear at least four pieces anyway, so might as well wear all five. Ooh, and we got an achievement, Unwavering Defense. So it's probably for making uh, five rarity 12 pieces of armor. Uh, so yeah, we look absolutely awesome now. Um, so the reason it took so long was Odegron Mantles and uh, Lagiana Mantle, as well as Velcana Crystal. The Velcana Crystal, I think I had to kill like 11 Velcana to get one, so that was a pain. Legiana, I don't think it was nearly as many... Uh, Velcana, but it was enough to annoy me. And Odegron didn't take long at all. I, I fought one, and it gave me three, or no, two mantles. Two mantles, killing one. I don't know why the other took two took forever, but I guess it decided to be nice to me. So, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that now to its max defense that we can get at the moment. Oh, an exact ten of these. Perfect. Easy enough. Which, 158 defense, which is pretty good. I don't remember what our last armor's max defense was, but I don't think it was 158. So it should be a good defense increase for us. Then after this, hopefully we can upgrade some weapons so we have some things that maybe are better than what we've been using. I have so many armor spheres. This is ridiculous. Except for King Armor Spheres. Don't have a lot of those. Uh, let's just see. What was our Baryoth Armor's defense at? 146 and 152 for the one piece of uh, uh, Shrieking uh, Legiana that we had. So, um, yeah, this is a nice upgrade. Now, what I'm hoping is that we can actually... Well, let's start with this. Let's forge the Guild Palace uh, Rapier. I have two of the Fest Tickets... Um, which is, all, well, I have four, but all we need is two, so we can make this. Um, 825 isn't a huge amount of raw attack. I'm pretty certain our Glavinous Longsword has the same, but it does have 10% affinity on it, some defense. Uh, and it does upgrade. However, I don't believe we can upgrade it yet. Um, and so I don't know if we're going to use this just yet. Because, if I'm correct, I said our Glavinous... Oh no, our Glavinus is way weaker. Our Glavinus is only 759? Really? Oh, this thing is a huge increase. What did I think had that much attack power? Do we... No, we have nothing that's anywhere near that. What? Really? Is it... Huh. Okay, cool. Maybe it's our Glavinus upgrade that has that much attack power. I don't know. Yeah, we have nothing that comes even close. Yeah, so we'll use that. Um, because it's gold, the pennant we'll put on it is the probably the guild seal pennant. Where did this go? There it is. Yeah, gold guild metal will fit with it, so we'll put that on there. Man, do I really not have anything that's anywhere near this thing's attack power? That's crazy. Yeah, Amber Tooth doesn't come close. Oh my goodness. I thought we were using something that was similar, but no, not not even. You can't even compare. Jeez. Okay. That's awesome. Hello, new best weapon that I have at the moment. And if we uh, put more uh, handicraft on, we will have uh, purple sharpness for a bit. Right now, it's only got like 10 hits worth, but uh, we can get more than that. 
Uh, Alright, so let's see if there's anything else we can upgrade, though, like our Glavinous Longsword. And yes, I've read all these dialogue things before, so I'm not going to read them again right now. So Amber Tooth 2, I need another Amber Hard Fang, and I'd be able to upgrade that, uh, which really is kind of decent. It's only got white sharpness, but uh, 792 at raw attack isn't bad. 30% affinity is awesome, and a decent amount of ice. Uh, but I'm not going to fight a Baryoth right now for that. I'll do that when I want more Guild Palace weapons. Which, actually, what do we need to upgrade our Guild Palace weapon? I know, I'm scatterbrained at the moment. I'm taken aback by how good this thing is. Oh yeah, we don't know. It's ne Oh, okay, so it needs some kind of Arena coin. And then some other kind of Claw or Fang that we've never seen. And it gets even stronger than it is now. It's awesome. Okay, what else we got here? Um... Divine Slasher has an upgrade, but we can't do it yet. The Iron Eschaton can finally be upgraded. What does this go into? Don't know. Don't know. And just normal. Ooh. But that gets up even stronger than our guild weapon, and we can make it. Well, why not? Oh, wait, it probably isn't stronger because, yeah, it doesn't have affinity, so never mind. It doesn't get stronger. It'll have a little more raw, but that's it. I'll take the affinity over it, I think. Plus, the guild weapon looks a lot cooler. But, this is still a fully upgraded weapon. Gives us another option, so uh, it's good to have. What else we got here? Hopefully, I didn't just screw myself out of some other upgrades by using stuff that uh, we'll need. No, because I'd never got any Hornetar Razor Wings. That weapon's not very good. Oh, wow. Its final form does have a boatload of purple sharpness, though. Terrible raw. Hmm. Oh, wait. What was the other weapon it becomes? Oh, that's how you get the uh, Brachydios weapon, which, as you can see at its final form, really is not that great. It's got a lot of blast on it, which is nice, and I did use this a lot on PS4, but it doesn't even get purple sharpness. It doesn't get the cool Dios Katana uh, appearance of previous games um no affinity so and only rarity 10 so not really super interested okay ah yes this is what we need to upgrade okay so bone reaper to grand Kopesh. uh so this can continue down the bone path or it can go into the tigrex stuff um but we're not going to do Tigrex. We're going to go to the next bone level. And then it can go into the Velcana weapon, which is extremely good. Um, as you can see, it's a level 4 decoration, 858 raw, good purple sharpness. Um, low ice, but that's okay. Uh, and no affinity. But it also has another form, but we can't see it because we're missing a claw or fang. And I'd need another Velcana Crystal. But this is actually a really good weapon. Now the question is... Is, uh... So let's see. That's an increase of 25... So 33... Okay, so that's 10 raw higher. 10 true raw higher than the guild weapon. Is 10 true raw better than 10 affinity? I don't think so. But this does have ice on it as well, and better purple sharpness. Hmm. And I did work really hard for this. Did I do that math right? Yeah, that's 33. The multiplier is 3.3. Yeah, it's 10 raw. Uh, okay, so we'll switch to the Volcana weapon in a moment for sure. All right, can't make that. Can't make that. I still can't make this. Oh, I need a mantle. That's why. But to be fair, it doesn't really get that great anyway. 825 raw, some fire, a little bit of purple, not that great. Um, no affinity. Wouldn't be better than what we've got, so it's it's whatever. Can't do anything with that, which is a little sad because I think... Yeah, I have this, enough stuff for the Fulgur line, which is actually okay because of the affinity on it. But I need to fight some normal Anjanath, so can't do anything with that right now. Anything else? Ooh. What do you become? Oh. We could make the Bonborough weapon. It's not very good. 
it's it's got extremely high raw, but it only gets blue sharpness, so it's kind of kind of trash. But um, honestly, why not? Let's just make it. We might as well get these things to their final forms when we can, because why not? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I fought so many Legiana, I can actually upgrade this. Hooray! And we can go up to the next one, which is the Shrieking Legiana version. But I don't have enough freaking Legiana materials and I don't have a Legiana mantle anymore because we used it to make our Velcana armor. And honestly, we still wouldn't be using this though. It's got decent sharpness. Uh, it's just got low raw, but it has extremely high ice elemental. So that's pretty good. If you want to go elemental weapons, it's a good one. And they did make elemental weapons more viable. What? Apparently... I did not realize this. I have an extra Rathian mantle and we can upgrade this. The weapon we've been using for poison. Cool. Why not? And we won't be upgrading that again for a long time. Yeah, we won't be upgrading that a lot again for a long time. But still, very cool. Awesome. I didn't realize I got another mantle. That makes me pretty happy. Um, they did make elemental uh, weapons much more viable in Iceborne. Uh, which is really good for, uh, like, sword and shield and dual blades and bows. But it doesn't really affect uh, most other weapons nearly as much. Um, Longsword's kind of in that weird in-between. You can go either way. It just depends on how you want to build out your set. So, um, if you want to go high elemental, you can. You just have to wear a drastically different set than um, what you'd wear if, uh, if you were going raw. Where is... Where's my Vulcana weapon? I just made it. I think it should be an orange weapon? Right? There it is. Ice Brink. Cool. Alright, so... We'll switch this over to Rocksteady, because we don't know what we're going up against. And I know this is a lot of prep. It's a lot of prep, but uh, I've been doing a lot of work to be able to make all this stuff. And I'm very excited to have it. So we have both Velcana divinities, which is awesome. This frost aura is really cool, and I'm going to enjoy using it for a while. Um, but it probably won't be in, in any of our final builds unless I just decide to make a fun one that uses it. Uh, all right, so we need two levels of handicraft for sure. Um, quick sheath is maximized, just out out of the gate. Not super useful, as I I've discovered. Um, the sheathing speed really doesn't change that much for the, the special sheath, so that's unfortunate. I thought it'd be better. Critical draw those at level 2, which is good. Uh, I found a lot of use in that. Um, and Divine Blessing's always nice. Why not? 30% uh, damage reduction 25% of the time. Not bad. So, these are all kind of semi-handy skills, uh, these four. But none of them are really super good. So, let's see what we can do. Really, we're, we're going to want is for one i believe in my travels of farming i got a jewel that oddly enough gives handicraft as well as another thing yeah slider is that super useful no but why not you know we got a uh i i, I can't really complain about getting handicraft plus another skill I, I wish it would have been something more useful than Affinity Slider, but it's not bad. Um, I also, we of course know we want our Expert Plus, which is on our other set, so we're going to have to pull it off. Because uh, we only have the one. That's fine. And then I think I got a really good one that gives Expert as well as another skill. But I don't remember what it was. I think it was Fortitude. So Fortitude is actually ex an extremely useful skill now because level 4 jewels, it comes on a ton of them. So why not get it? When you faint, you get a big boost to your attack and defense. Why not? Um, do I have a crit draw? I do. We can max out crit draw. Awesome. Okay, that's useful. Now, have I gotten any things that give vitality in level 4 decorations? 
I don't think I have, sadly. It would be... Oh, this is another really good one. Free meal plus critical eye. This is actually a constant in most of my sets. Um, because free meal, even if you only have level 1, 25% of the time getting uh, a consumable food or drink not getting used is really good. Plus, since it has an expert attached to it, we're now at level 4 expert, so why not? I really was hoping I'd have more vitality decorations. There's wind resist, but since we don't have any more of that, that's not super useful. Maximum might with vitality. Uh, maximum might's not say very useful. I do believe there is a handicraft vitality jewel in the game. I think I have one on PS4, which would be amazing. Um, but I don't think we have it right now. Affinity Slayer's only got one level, so that's not helpful. Power problem recovery up. Not, not great. We're not putting any more attack on this set. So before I do the level 4, let's just... We're going to throw Vitality in because we're starting to get into the harder parts of the game. And Vitality is always useful to have. And it's not like we have much else that we need to, like, fill out here. We should be at almost max Handicraft now. Yeah, we're at level 4. Um, which we technically could stop at. But if I don't have any other level 4s that I find super useful... Ooh, I know what I'm going to put on there. Never mind, I take it back. Um, I do know what I'm going to put there. Maybe I'll put the handicraft on the weapon. Usually I like to have my weapons decoration make sense for that weapon individually, just because uh, if you switch weapons, you don't want it, like, you, you don't want losing those skills to affect your, um, armor build, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. It'll, we'll see. So we need a level of handicraft. More critical eye is always good. Though 21st cent's not bad, and our draw attacks will automatically do 100% now. Um, Divine Blessing, we don't need to max out unless we find something that works well. Flinch Free, I don't care about. Okay, so we have nothing really super important. So what I think I'll do... Do I have a handicraft decoration on this game? I think I do, but it's probably in an armor set. Yep, there it is. Throw that on there. We'll max out handicraft. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I got a better idea. Assuming I have the decoration. I don't know if I do. Do I have it? Do I have it? I do not have it on this console unless it's on... No, I don't. Shoot. I was really hoping I did. Okay, never mind. My plan goes out the window. I was thinking I was going to throw on um, uh, a decoration that gives stun resist level 2, but I don't have it yet. That stinks. Uh, okay, then I'm going to leave the handicraft on there. So on here, do we have anything that really fits specifically for this? I don't think we do. Um... I really wish they'd fix that stupid slinger capacity skill. I need to look up if that's a bug or if that's just something that's going on with my game. Because that's weird. Uh... Sire, I'm just looking to see if I have anything special. Oh, we could max out Divine Blessing and then get plus 5 attack when we have red... That's not bad. Answer Madison. Wind resist vitality. Oh. Well, that could be nice. Maximize flinch free and get some tool specialist. Why not? I, I didn't see anything else that really super fit, so that's fine. I don't want to waste too much more time on this. Alright, so... We got one more thing I want to do to prep. Um, we've got a bunch of steel, uh, tickets. Now let's do this first. Times are tough, but seeing everyone come together to get through it brings a smile to my face. Something I can get you. Alright, so I need to fertilize here. Collect, harvest. Wow, we've almost maxed out honey. That's awesome. Wow. Alright, it's time to, uh, take honey off of there because we can't even collect all of our honey. That's hilarious. Okay, we'll sell that. And let's get rid of honey here. 
Um, you know what? Let's throw in these. It'd be good to get those up. Okay. Uh, also, I switched my Argosy to material items because, as you can see there, we can get gems, apparently. Uh, this was what? Uh, a Fey Wyvern gem? That's nice. Wait, a Fey Wyvern gem? That's a master rank. Ah, uh, I wonder if that means we can get mantles from this too. Huh. Because bird wyvern gems are high rank, right? Yeah, fey wyvern gem must be master rank. That's insane. Okay, so that's useful. But that's part of why I switched this over to material items is, honestly, we get a ton of consumable items from the Steamworks. So there's no reason not to get uh, material items from this now. So that's nice. All right, so we have a ton of steel melding tickets. And that's what we're going to go ahead and use here because you can do 40 at a time, and I'm sure we're over 40. When things get to feeling insurmountable, I always say to focus on whatever's right in front of you. Finish this one quest, fetch that one bounty. That's all you need to worry about. Need something melded, Hunter? All right, so Guild Alchemy. Yeah, we can do this twice with steel. So you can do 40 at a time, uh, and steel gives you basically low rank and high rank decorations silver can give you master rank but they're they're like kind of the mid tier and then gold can give you the best master rank decorations so we're probably not going to get anything good out of this but because we have so many tickets we're going to go ahead and do the steel ones because we'll be getting more anyway and even if we don't get great decorations you never know when you're going to get something that's just okay gonna go through them real quick see if we got anything really good nothing's really jumping out at me yet no nothing good in there but that is always material for doing the first wyverian ritual so we'll do the next 40 see what we get hmm. i'm always hoping i'm gonna get like a handicraft or something here I keep seeing all these gray ones, but I know they're all brace and uh, earplugs. Yep, nothing special again. Okay. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. No big deal. No point in holding on to them either, so might as well use them. Alright, so we need to head to the Elder's Recess for our next quest. So we're going to move the story forward. Woo! That's fine. All right. Off to the Elder's Recess. There is more crafting that I could do, but we'll do that in another video because we've done enough of that. So there's something we've not seen there before. So that's um, a telling sign. Alright, so you'll see the little meter next to our sharpness meter. That is our Valkana Divinity. We get four hits, and then every, like, second that you have your weapon sheathed, you'll gain a hit back. Uh, and those hits give you uh, a good increase to your attack power. Monster tracks! We don't have a record of anything like these. That doesn't seem likely. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buff because I'm pretty certain that we are going to be fighting something here. Also, I'm not used to having that long health bar. I kind of missed that. Feel different. Almost scary. And ripples can sometimes come together to form a giant wave. So, you should know what all this feels like. Please stop talking, handler. We should know what we're going to be fighting now. These are very obvious misfired scales. Let's get us some help. Where is my cat? Did, 
Did he? Yay! Okay, cool. And more misfired scales. Great. Where's the footprint? It says there's a footprint. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. This game is so pretty on PC. Ugh. What? Thorns? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Check it out. Nergigante thorns. What do you have in your sights this time, huh? Business is about to pick up. <laughs> There's something odd about this one. All right, so one big deal here, obviously, is uh, there's Nergigante Thorns. Story-wise, Nergigante's supposed to be gone. We defeated it. Uh, so that's why it's surprising. Or at least, as the handler said, not surprising, I guess, because it's Nergigante. But, uh, so that's, that's one thing. Um, obviously, this is Basil Goose, however, uh, if you looked on the side when it said we discovered the monster, it is not Basil Buse, it is Seething Basil Buse. It's a variant. Now, this, finally, is why I, I can talk about at least a little bit, um, not completely. One of the things that was disappointing, and one of the reasons I don't like, Bonboro. Seething Basil Buse, unlike normal Basil Buse, is not an invasion monster. Um, you will not be out on an expedition or another quest and have this thing randomly appear. Uh, if it's supposed to be in the quest, it'll be there, obviously, but, um, unlike previously where it would invade quests and just show up and, you know, wreck your day, Seething Basil Goose does not do that. Uh, instead, Bonboro and, uh, Ebony Odegarone fill those roles. I don't know why. Uh, I don't like Bonboro because of this reason, because Compared to Basil Goose, Bonboro is lame. Like, it's just true. Like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Bonboro has cool looking armor, but uh, as a monster, compared to Seething Basil Goose, Bonboro is, it, it really is, it's just nothing. So I can't believe that they were like, ah, Seething Basil Goose will just be a normal monster, Bonboro will invade now. Like, no, give me back my, my Basil Goose. Like, as much as Basil Goose is annoying, it's cool. And, in base world, it was the invading monster until Devil Joe got released. Oh look, Dodo Boy's here too.
Now they did do one nice thing for uh, melee users against seething basil geese. Unlike normal basil geese, where it drops all its pinecone-like bombs on the ground all the time, right by its feet, seething shoots them out a lot more, which means that melee users actually have an easier time against the seizing ba seething basil geese, whereas uh, gunners have a harder time with it. It was the reverse against normal basil. Oh, crap. Alright, let's get rid of this Dodogama. As much as I like Dodogama, it needs, it needs to get out of here. Go away. But also give me this slinger ammo. Oh, you dick. Oh, good. Perfect. Taunt. Yes, taunt. I hit the wall. So I curse a lot less when I'm fighting uh, seething basil geese than when I fight normal basil geese. Music is so good. I, I love Basil Geese's music. Ah! Okay, weaken the face, which is already its weak spot anyway. Ah, I was hoping it would fall down. Oh well. Ooh, shiny. I always like shinies. Alright, sharpen up and then we'll chase after it. Where did it go? Did it go? It didn't go up. Oh, it went down in there. Okay. I wonder if we can drop the crystals on it and do some damage. Oh, we should also gather the splintered thorns here. I love Elkana armor. It looks so cool. Away. No! It, okay, it still worked. It worked. It worked. Okay. <laughs> I thought I... Uh, oh, are you freaking kidding me? You dicks. Stupid gacha lockup. See, under the other one, if I drop this, is it going to hit him? It did. We got double damage. Awesome. Oh, come on. And a poison? When did that happen? This is a nightmare. That's not what I want to do. I moved a little early. All right. Try and heal up. Thank you. You're asleep again? Jesus. What just happened? I feel like the Gajalak are doing more damage than I am, because, man, Basil's having a hard time doing anything. Oh, crap. Man, we haven't even gotten to see what makes him different. It hasn't happened yet. I don't know if that's because I'm not doing enough damage or... Wow, that's not what I thought he was doing. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck against a wall that I couldn't see. Dear Lord Almighty, that did not go well. Um, I don't know if I'm not doing enough damage or if... Uh, it's just bad luck on his part. Well, his tail's off now. Eh, bad day for Basil. That was one of its new moves. It kind of like lunges super forward. It kind of like 
I want to say hover, but it glides, I guess, across the, the ground. Oh, there's its special new, uh, new scales. They're purple, and I believe people call them nuclear scales. They, uh, take longer to detonate, but they have a much bigger and more dangerous explosion. No, let me go. Oh, you dick. You dick. Let me move. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Let's just throw this on already. Up we go. Dodo Gama, why are you back? Go away. I thought he was leaving. He did not leave. He was literally just flying around doing something. Whoops. Up we go. Oh, please don't hit me, Gajalaka. I've got a good combo going. Oh, he's leaving now. Okay. Alright, we carved the tail. He went this way. Okay. We need to sharpen. We're down to blue. But notice we're we're like just starting blue. Our weapon takes quite a few hits before it uh loses its uh purple and white sharpness, which is nice. Oh man, where are you? Oh, he went up over there. He's up. Ah! Thought it was at the top. Should be over here? Right? Yeah. There he is. Now, obviously, we're gonna try and cap him because we, we always wanna cap everything at least once. Gotta get him weak first, though. Oh, the bow and bow are helping. Oh, he's weak. Oh, really? Now's bad timing for that. I didn't have my freaking, uh... Trank bombs ready. Shoot. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. I was hoping one of them would at least, uh some stuff. So yeah, that's Seething Basil Geese. Normally it's um, a little more hectic than that, but he uh, went down pretty easy, honestly. Where do you go to rest? Do you just come straight here? Oh, you do. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice done. Work. Wrap up the expedition and let's head back. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, was that one of our limited bounties? Oh, it was. Sweet. So, that was one of the other reasons I want to move forward is because we had a question mark, question mark, question mark, uh, limited bounty. And it was just a seething basil, seething basil goose. So that's done. So now I can do, uh, I need to do two ebony... Odogaron and a Rotten Veil, so that's not so bad. And so I know what our next quest is going to be then uh, for this video. Awesome. So we just need to complete the expedition, so let's go ahead and do that. Two gems, no mantles. That's unfortunate. Oh, we did get a VIP gratitude ticket, though. I haven't gotten one of those in a long time. That makes me pretty happy. A lucky day today. We are now Master Rank 19. We know about the Seething Basil Geese. Or I guess people say it's pronounced Basil Geese? I like Basil Geese better. Everyone here? Perfect. I've got some great news. 
We found some Nurgigante traces. Great. That's great news? You heard me. Wherever that puppy shows up, it means it's on the hunt for something big. Now we just need to figure out what that something big is. Not only that, but thanks to the Fifth Fleet, we've also found traces of other Elder Dragons in each region. And quite a healthy assortment of Elder Dragons at that. Things are really starting to heat up, huh? How's the investigation into the seismic actions going? Swimmingly. We've been able to pinpoint locations here in the Hinterlands as well as in the New World. We've also been splitting up to search for spots where the song is audible. We should be able to report our findings soon. Great. Keep it up and we'll be able to track down the old Everworm in no time. Speaking of which, I have a request of the Fifth. If I'm not mistaken, we may be able to learn something about the old Everworm from the recently awoken Elder Dragons. At this stage, information is key. I'd like to request a formal investigation into these Elder Dragons. Chief, what do you think? Elder Dragons have always been closely tied to all kinds of natural phenomena. We'd be fools not to investigate them. Great! We'll get started right away. Wait, what about me? Just, uh, do what you always do. Ha <laughs> I'm on it! Okay, let's get to it. The Admiral asking what it should do like he actually is gonna do anything. He usually just wanders and then tells us to go do stuff. Yay. Alright, the Elder Dragons have awoken and are beginning to stir. Investigate them by taking on Master Rank optional quests and expeditions. When investigating Elder Dragons, a progress gauge will be displayed under your objectives and on the results screen. You can fill this gauge by slaying Elder Dragons in optional quests and expeditions. That's right, expeditions. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, and if you don't get what I'm getting at, I'll explain in a moment. The progress gauge can also be filled by gathering the question mark, question mark, question mark traces that can be found in each locale. The following Elder Dragons do not count towards progress. Zora Magdros, Xenojiva, Kolf Taroth, and Behemoth. Elder Dragons will now show up on expeditions. The Elder Dragons part? Let's head out on an expedition or optional quest to check it out. So now I don't have to explain what I was getting at. Uh, before, Elder Dragons would not show up on expeditions. Now they do. Which is pretty cool. So bounty, items, new research results. Alright, let's do the research results first. Do be careful. Oh, I think the old Everworm exists. It's the way of the world. Alright. Anyone else have... Our, okay. Our cat has something to tell us. And probably another mantle or booster quest to pick up. So let's grab these real quick and then we'll go do another quest. Meowster, have you ever thought of hanging a portrait of Zora Magdros in your room? Then do I have an opportunity for you. They're asking for a few items over at the resource center. In exchange for delivering them, they'll provide you with a work of art almost as big as Zora itself. I'm certain it'll be a Meowster piece worthy of display. Oh, well that's easy. We already have all that. Huh. Well, whatever. We're not gonna do it right now. Oh, other big news, we get our first free content update on PC on February 6th, which is actually a week from today. I'm going to try and get to the point where we can do that content day one, but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. We'll see. Oh, that reminds me. Ever since my little accident, I keep getting all these ideas, like cramming a decoration into a dragon-proof mantle. Think you could swing by the resource center and drop off a few things to help me make this happen? Take care. Whenever you've got the time there, Hunter. Thank you kindly. This one's easy. We just have to turn in materials. Unfortunately, they're Elder Dragon materials. We need to get a Teostra Felwing and a Dowara Felwing. Felwing. Ugh. I was about to be like, this will be easy. Nope. Alright, so we are going to take on one more quest. And then look at some more crafting stuff. This video will be a little long, but um, that's okay. You've probably been waiting for this quest, and now we're going to do it. Oops, events. It is... Beef is never a mistake. No matter how much I chow down, I'm never full. Guess I'm still a growing boy. I need my protein. 
Or maybe, I got it, yes, inspiration. To the message boards, special material rewards. So it's uh, a Glavinus and an Ebony Odogarone. So yeah, lots of new stuff will be going on now, which is pretty great. Um, probably want more defense than elemental, so we'll take the fish. But I am going to want to bring my dragon mantle. Because Ebony Odegrown's a dick. The other question is, do I want... To use this weapon or one of our other ones. Um, let's first change this over. And then... If I look at... 858, 10%. You know what, we're going to go with this. Because the poison might end up being more useful than the ice in the long run. I don't think Glavinus or Ebony Odegrown are weak to ice. So poison will be a, a greater benefit. And the only difference between them is the, um, well, actually, this has affinity, whereas the Velcana Longsword doesn't, so. Or wait, did it have, no, it had affinity on it, didn't it? No, it didn't. It did not. I'm losing my mind. It was the, um, Guild Palace Longsword that had, uh, affinity on it. So yeah, this has affinity, same raw attack. Um, less sharpness, but that's okay. Because it's got poison. Ow. Getting used to that. I'm still terrible at fighting this guy. But yeah, so, um, this quest will give us, uh, special materials to, for crafting another event item, so that's why I wanted to do it. And after this, I think there's only one more event quest that we won't have done, but we can't do it yet. Uh, we're not high enough on our rank to do it. Um, so, uh, there is that. Ugh. Well, I timed that wrong. No, why are you here? Go away. Oh, you're a horrible thing, Baroth. Ow. Come on, really? Stupid bear off. So that first free content update, uh, the reason it's a big deal is because it's our first uh, new monster getting added to the game. So, you know, we, we've only had the PC version of Monster Hunter Iceborne. Uh, well, I've had it for a month when we get... Uh, the first update, which I think is about in line with how long it took for PS4. I think PS4 got it after its first month. Um, but they did put out a uh, report, and their goal is to have parity between PC and console um, pretty fast. I think it's it was after four months. Um, once PC's been out for four months, I believe is when we're supposed to hit parity. Oh, come on. Oh, good. I hit him. Thank goodness. That was going to be horrible. But yeah, so they're doing a good job about getting us um, caught up. And then we'll just all get content at the same time. Baroth, I don't know if I've told you, but I hate you.
I'm not going to spoil what the uh, free content update monster is. You'll see when it comes out. But uh, it is exciting, and I'm definitely going to be happy to have it. And I'm going to be even happier when we have parity with console and PC is getting to experience monsters right away without worrying about spoilers. We are almost to that point. Just four months. And we get a lot in between now and then. Uh, so February is our first new monster added. March? I think we get two monsters in March. And then April we get two more, I want to say. And then uh, May will be... Well, that would make us caught up. I think that's correct. I could be wrong. It doesn't sound quite right to me. Um, it might actually be maybe May that we get caught up. But uh, it, it's still... It's very quick. You know, Glavinus, if you're nice, you'll give me a mantle. So I can upgrade your weapon. Ugh. Not what I wanted. Well, that's fine. You jumped right into it. Oh, you know what? He's still not enraged. I should probably try and punch bomb. No! Hit the wrong spot. Yeah, it's not gonna work, but whatever. Doing it anyway. Oh, they're about to fight. Glavinus will leave, so we'll go ahead and fight Ebony for a moment. Maybe. Kind of missed my evasion. That move always gets me. I'm just so bad at dodging it. Yeah, get in that trap. No, oh, get. Of course, that's when it goes after my cat, is when I'm all ready for it to go after me. Come here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I love when we get stagger after stagger and actually can get some damage. Aw, oh, come on! That's not the button I meant to hit. Shoot. I meant to do a foresight slash, but it's fine. You can get hit anyway. Ugh. 
keep this tenderized. Come on now. Oh my gosh, and that doesn't cause temporal, so that kind of sucks because he just got two good hits in. Just for... Uh, spitting a little bit of crap at me. And because I'm wearing Temporal, it also gave me Dragon Blight. is really taking a hit at this point. I was gonna say, did he really just jump over my freaking trap? Alright. Let him run away. It's fine. We need to sharpen anyway. Looks like we're going back to Glavinus because he's right there. Slinger ammo. So now he's gonna be enraged, for sure. into this trap. Oh, also, I guess I forgot to mention this. Uh, I finished maxing out the Vigoros spray on our kitty cat. So now we've moved to the uh, Flashfly cage, and its master rank upgrade is the bomb trap, which if monsters walk into it, a bomb blows up. Which is pretty cool. Sometimes it'll knock them down. Oh, I totally thought I was going to roll through that, and I did not. Ah, why'd you back up? Oh, dang it, it took me too long to move. Why 
wanted to knock him down because I wanted to chop his tail because I still need that stupid mantle. After that, Glavinus. Is important. And I'm betting his tail's not gonna be on fire anymore, which stinks because I wanted to cut it, but that's okay. It happens. I'm surprised he didn't fall asleep. Until all you go. That's what I was expecting. Fall down for me. And now we must sleep the eternal sleep. Alright, that's one monster down. For lucky, we'll get a mantle. Nope, no luck. That's okay. Did not expect it. Alright, so now we just gotta take out the Ebony Odegrown. Who isn't that far away? Awesome. Hello, friend. Drop that meat. that missed. And then he ran away. What a dick. Come to me, stones. I want to put this thing into a wall. Why? Why would you do that right now? I can't believe that still worked. I <laughs> totally thought I borked that. That's how that uh, trap knocks down monsters. Alright, he's running away. And that Baroth's just above us, like, I'm just gonna saunter around now. Just because everything's dying or gone. Gosh. Probably can do it this way. Let's see if it works. It did, okay.
I was worried that it would uh, not count, but it did, thank goodness. But I was also worried that I'd have to go too far if I kept uh, clawing it. Okay. So that is beef is never a mistake. Not a difficult quest, it's just a glavinous and a ebony odogaron. Still cool enough to do though, because both are nice monsters. Ah, oh, we're finally wearing Elder Dragon armor. It's so cool. You also notice that uh, pretty commonly, if it's an Elder Dragon armor and Master Rank, it has a cape. It's a pretty common theme. Let's see what we get for rewards. We get... Well, no mantles, but we did get three of the special tickets. Also, a ton of nourishing extract, which is nice. Because that's... We kind of kind of need it. Uh, so, meaty canteen ticket. The chef's cooked up a juicy and beefy meal just for you. Show this order to the smithy. Very cool. Okay, Flashfly Cage is up to level 13 now. Boombug Cage, that's what it's called, the, the little bomb trap. Alright. Something's going on with the Elder Dragons, Pard. Let's head out on an expedition or optional quest to check it out. I guess let's first grab our research results and take care of the safari. Oh, look, Seething Basil Goose. Uh, do be careful. Okay. I know this video is long. I feel like Master Rank Quest videos are gonna be like that, unfortunately. It's a relief to see you safe, Meowster. Just because the quest takes so much longer. Wow, I got like nothing good. It's unfortunate. Uh, I guess this is the best one. That looks good. I need both those monsters' parts, so that's fine. Okay. Let's go look at what we can craft. So we got a few things we can look at. So the first thing we're going to look at is the weapon that we just unlocked by doing that quest. It's a hammer. And it's called the Well Done Hammer. And it looks like a big old turkey leg. I don't know why the quest mentions beef, because this is clearly not beef. It's definitely a turkey leg. Or a chicken leg. Looks more like a turkey leg to me, but still very cool. Um, it's nothing special. I mean, it's got fire element on it, blue sharpness. Um, honestly, I don't know if it can be upgraded. Um, let's take a look. Oh, it totally can. So it can even be upgraded. And I might have enough tickets to completely make it. I need more monster solid bones, but yeah, I have enough tickets to get it to its final form. But, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess one more thing to look at there with it. Did we see, do we have everything to see what it looks like stat-wise? No, we don't. Okay. So, I mean, it's got an upgrade though, so that's pretty nice. Um, it's just a fun weapon. These are the things people wanted back were these goofy weapons that, uh were kind of like a trademark of Monster Hunter in the past, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we already looked at the other things for quests, right? So we got the Wyverian Ears. Um, the Wyverian Ears, what was the other thing? Oh, the Guild Palace weapons, that was the other one. So obviously we've unlocked Seething Basil Goose Armor, so this is the Alpha, looks pretty cool. And then here's the Beta. Um, I actually do like the beta of this one better, just because, like, I don't know, something about the, um, 
helmet and how it's got like the glowy on the inside where your face is supposed to be just doesn't look right to me. Whereas this one, I don't know, I just like the look of it better. So it's kind of good. It's another beta that I do like better than the alpha, which makes me happy because as always, betas are better. The alpha sets have less slots, which is kind of a big deal. The other thing, though, that the thing I want to craft is the uh, astral armor. Um, so we have plenty of gratitude tickets now, uh, 28. So um, we can make this. So it gives appreciation blessing. Uh, so it increases both forms. So the basic one increases the odds of getting special grand appreciation rewards. That's just the VIP tickets. And then the second one gives, greatly increases the odds of getting VIP tickets at the end of a quest. So that's all that gives. This increases your chance to get those VIP tickets. So once the event's over, it's it's pointless uh, until the next time this event's going on. Um, but otherwise, it gives wide range, critical boost, divine blessing, flinch free, and weakness exploit. It's not terrible. I mean, you can make that work if you wanted to use it um, for uh, an armor set. Like, you could totally make that set of skills work. And it does look very cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and craft the full set. And then the other thing is the layered armor. We're going to go ahead and make that. I can make the strategist spe spectacles as well. That was those. So let's go ahead and make those as well. Man, those shadow effects are pretty cool. <laughs> um, so here's the astral armor, what it looks like when you're wearing it. I believe I showed this before because we had unlocked the layered before the normal. We can't make this yet because I need Devil Joe stuff, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure how we unlocked that because we've not fought a Devil Joe in a master rank, but I guess we know now Devil Joe's in master rank. <laughs> there you go. Devil Joe got a master rank version. Anyway, let's, uh, we've got 10 tickets, so we're gonna go ahead and make the astral layered. We're not gonna equip it, though. Um, obviously, since it's layered, it has no special effect. I don't know, this kind of bugs me. I think I showed this before, though. I'm pretty certain I did. And I must not have just registered that it's like, hey, it takes Devil Joe materials. Which, I mean, we knew Devil Joe was going to be in Master Rank because it was in High Rank, but still, it, we've not run into one, so it's odd that it would unlock and be like, hey, look, you need Devil Joe materials. Like, it spoiled it for us, but I don't know, I don't know how we unlocked this. Huh. Well, anyway, that's something to look forward to. Devil Joe. Yay. Um, did we unlock any pennants? Ah, yes. Here you go. All with VIP tickets, except for this one, which takes gratitude, so we'll make this one. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's some cool... Oh, yeah, I showed these off before. They take VIP tickets, so it's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. So a total of 12 there to make all of these. Um, so that's cool. I always like pennants. Pennants are fun. Um, I think that should be all of the armor that we can make. So the last thing we'll do is we're going to go ahead and use the rest of our VIP tickets to purchase the rest of the decorations for our house. And then this video will finally be, be over. I know it was a long one. Uh, the next video will probably be moving story forward again because we have done all the event quests we can do until we move the story forward. So again, we'll do another story uh, video. Uh, we've read this before. Oh, we'll pick up our bounties, I guess. Register a new one here. Let's do that. Uh, okay, complete deliveries. So we have quite a few we can do. Um, I'm not going to worry about these ones. I'm really just worried about uh, these which I have just enough stuff for. So, uh, the House of Grand Appreciation. So this gets us a, an appreciative snowman. I've prepared your very own appreciative snowman for your room. Get us the materials and we'll deliver it pronto. Cool. Uh, full of hot air one. I have a peculiar gift ready for you. If you have a special ticket from the Grand Appreciation Fest, get us the materials and we'll deliver it pronto. So that's a feline balloon. Then... The second one is a Grimmelkind balloon, white. 
Then a Grimmelkind Balloon Black. And lastly, a Gajalaka Balloon. And I'm betting there's another one. I don't know why we're not seeing it yet. Because there's probably a, a uh, Boa Boa one as well. And there's that. Alright, so I will say um, we do have uh, a lot more VIP tickets we need to get to get the rest of the stuff. Um, and so I'll hopefully be able to do that. The, the Grand Appreciation Fest is going on for two more weeks, I think. It's actually going on for a long time. I think it ends on the 13th of February. So we still have a bit of time, uh, which is good. Uh, and I'm just going to continue doing that and um, doing our limited bounties. And tomorrow, not, t t not tomorrow, the next video will, like I said, be moving the story forward. Because we do need to get to a point where we have all monsters available to us so that um, we can, you know, work on end game stuff and probably start doing optional quests and building out our weapon uh, list because we haven't really upgraded a lot of weapons yet because we've kind of been pushing the story due to content releasing so um, yeah I'm not going to ramble too much uh, I think that's where we're going to end it so thank you so much for watching please feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it you can also subscribe to the channel hit that little bell icon to get email updates when I upload new videos and of course you can leave any comments or suggestions in the area below the video however that is all I have for you today so thank you so much for watching and as usual this is Zephyr Signing out.